Hola, ¿qué tal? I hope everybody is okay. As many of you know, the majority of my research for my channel is in French and some of them in English. So I decided to switch between these languages. I know that not all my subscribers speak these languages and that's why I will keep the subtitles. Please, mom, don't curse me. That's the way that I found to share my passion for tourism, culture, languages, history, and mainly for Montpellier with more people around the world. Let's start! The oldest in the Western world is still in operation, created in the 12th century. It houses the Conservatory of Anatomy, an amazing place with 5,000 pieces and anatomical waxes. The medical school of Montpellier was the cradle of medicine. In today's video, I talk about the creation of the medical school of Montpellier and how the city's destiny was changed forever and Montpellier experienced the unprecedented international influence. Come with me! In 1181, an edict from Guillaume VIII proclaimed the freedom to teach medicine in Montpellier. Medical education then took off in Montpellier, attracting many masters and students. An institutional framework has developed around medical education in less than a century. And in 1289, Pope Nicholas IV addressed from home the Apostolic Constitution, Chia Sapiente, to all doctors and students in the city of Montpellier. But until the end of the 15th century, the education system was in which the student studied and slept in his master's house and took his exam in church. In 1340, the university created an anatomy course which soon made its name. The medical school enjoyed great prestige, reputed to have inherited the knowledge of both Arabs and Jews, and welcomed students from all over Europe. In 1498, the Faculty of Medicine acquired its own premises, and the Royal College of Medicine moved to the building in front of L'Église Saint-Mathieu. With the wars of religion and the revolution, in 1793, the universities were dissolved and the schools were closed. Two years later, the Faculty of Medicine moved into the old St. Benedict's Monastery, where it remains until today. That's all, folks. Subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, Share this video, leave your comments below, kisses and see ya!